Okay guys, well, <laughs> here we are um, going to color this um, art piece uh, with alcohol markers. Um, and the, the alcohol markers that I'm using today are uh, Ohuhu and, uh, and then Copic markers. Um, and uh, here is my, basically my color reference uh, for the wig and um, this very beautiful light pastel um, mint that I just love. And that's what I'm hoping to capture in this uh, um, ink drawing that I've done. Uh, and I've been testing a bunch of colors, um, trying to find um, what uh, combinations I like. And uh, what I've what I've found is that um, uh, uh, I'm using a combination of um, a Copic uh, Cool Shadow with blush, and then I'm also going to use uh, Ohuhu uh, the Mint Blue uh, Mint Blue marker. Uh, I I can tell <laughs> I'm going to use that up right away because I love that marker. I use it for everything. Um, and what I figured I'm going to do is, uh, any of my Ohuhu markers that, uh, that, um, dry up, I will, uh, look for the equivalent Copic sketch marker and buy that and then refills if I need to. <laughs> and, uh, um, just for the ones, cause there's certain markers that I just use to pieces because they are just perfect, um, for colors that I want to use. Uh, and, um, I actually really like this meadow green um, as a, a shading color, uh, but it's not perfect, and so I have to mix it with a little bit of the pastel blue. Um, and so this is uh, basically like the arm here, um, and kind of an idea of the colors I would use to get the blushing. So this is kind of my process. This is what I tend to do is kind of uh, figure out what colors I want to use in certain areas and then I get them out um, and so there's some other colors here including um, a colorless blender uh, I always have a colorless blender around these are very very useful um, I actually have three of them I have two Copics Copics and then I have the one that came with the Ohuhu set um, and uh, I definitely use those a lot so these two colors, uh, Copic colors, Ocean Mist and Cool Shadow, um, very, very light colors, but I really like the light ones because you can do so much with them. Um, and I do want to try to keep this light. This was almost getting too dark for my taste. Um, so uh, I, I'm going to attempt um, to get this as a... Um, Keep this as light as possible it, it tends to be one of the things that i have trouble with is that it always ends up darker than what i would like and um i did i did just place an order for some copic markers a lot of the lighter shades that um that i really know that i would use a lot um so i went ahead and i've ordered some of those uh i had uh, an amazon gift card so that was pretty cool but um I'm going to go ahead and adjust this and get you a little bit closer up here. But yeah, um, I printed it out on uh, printer paper to practice on. Um, this was, I was going to, I spent a lot of time <laughs> getting these colors together for, for purple and uh, I do like how this turned out and I like the colors, but I don't think to go with the color colors that I want, um, that that's not what I want to go for. Um, so I scrapped that, even though I spent a lot of time picking out those colors and figuring out how to mix them. <laughs> um, so for each piece I do, if it, especially if it's a new color scheme, there's a lot of this that's gone on. And uh, I think as I use my markers more and more and try different things, different colors, I'll get a better and better idea what colors work together and how they work together and not maybe have to spend so much time every time getting the just the exact right mix of them. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Um, uh, every, every piece I'm learning and learning. Um, 
So uh, I've got <clears throat> uh, some pieces of paper behind here to protect the uh, pages behind um, because uh, uh, you don't have to worry so much about um, your uh, pen liners, uh, uh, fine liners doing leaking or coming through, but um, uh, your alcohol markers are definitely going to bleed through and they're going to they're definitely going to bleed through the back of this and they are a very good likelihood of hitting the next page too so um, ruining whatever might be there so um, I always have scraps of paper to set up there um, so parts of this may be sped up um, uh, I like I did with the last video um, I tend to, once I start to color something, I just, I really, it's go time because you don't want it to dry out. You, so that's why I get all my colors. I, ha I have a plan um, of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm scared of the face, <laughs> so I'm saving it for last. Um, but uh, because that's the most sensitive and now you're going to need to have the most control over everything um, to get the face to turn out. Um, it, there's so many planes and angles and shadows and reflected light. It's the most complex part of the whole illustration, really. Um, and the part that people notice the most if you mess up. Um, so I am going to save that for last and start with another part of the body. Um, and uh, oftentimes I do work on parts at a time so that it doesn't bleed into another part. Um, and I want that part to be dry before I'll do a place next to it uh, because the markers will bleed, um, uh, which is what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to mix. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go and uh, hopefully I have it set up here so that the camera is on the other side and I can't really see it um, from my position. Um, hopefully this isn't too dark. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna get going. So I'm going to start with her arm here and uh, typically what I do um, real quick before I get going is I will either use, uh, so this is the cool shadow um, which is a very very light color as you can see there it's very very light um, and uh, partly to put a little color down but also mostly for to put alcohol uh, or it's acetone is what it is. It's not, I don't, I don't think, I think it's acetone. Uh, I don't think it's alcohol that's in these. I might be wrong. Uh, I'm confused now. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. Um, uh, I will either color in the entire surface that I want to color with either the colorless blender, um, because any color I lay down is going to uh, ease, ease, more easily blend um, with other colors that I lay down. Uh, so that's a trick that I do and it helps keep things light too. Um, and I typically, typically work light to dark, uh, though sometimes I'll do the reverse if I know that I'll get the effect that I want that way. So, um, but yeah, so here I go. This is hard because I'm trying not to move the page or get the wrong uh, angle on here. And so I am doing some shading here too with this. I don't know if you can appreciate that. And that's the that's so nice about these brush markers is that you can actually just get a lighter and darker and um, it's, it's so cool. Um, So I want this part to be a little lighter, and so I'm just... There, and I don't know if you can appreciate that.
Here's, comes Lola to And this is just my personal style and what I like. Um, that I like this really bold blushing um, and it doesn't necessarily blend uh, realistically, I guess, um, but um, it does, it has a neat effect and it's very bold. Um, and it's honestly how I like to blush my dolls. <laughs> so instead of blushing my dolls in reality, um, I'm blushing them uh, through my artwork. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to keep this really light. I might not, I might not add, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll add just a little bit here to see how it goes. Because I don't want her to be too dark in color. I want to keep her light. Lola. <laughs> She's making all kinds of awesome noises. And so uh, if I want to move on to another section, I say I won't do this. I'll go to this arm here <laughs> and uh, avoid the elbow because uh, it, they touch. Um, it does touch a little bit there, but that's kind of the idea. Um, so I'll just keep going. See, good. I was going to town. Oh my gosh, this has never happened. This marker, I think, is going dry. This is the first Copic marker I've had that's gone dry. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Did uh, ended up doing a bunch of coloring without filming. I um, apologize for that, but uh, I'm going to sit down to work on this some more, and so turning on the camera, um, yeah, uh, when I had stopped the last time, this is uh, the first Copic marker I have ever uh, bled dry, I guess, um, and it's the BG10 Cool Shadow, um, and it's one of my very, very light colors, and so I've used it a lot. Um, so I need to order some refills of that. <laughs> so it's the first time it's happened. Um, kind of bummed, but yeah, it's bound to happen, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and color this, and I probably won't talk very much, uh, and uh, we'll have it sped up. Um, so enjoy.